అతి తక్కువ ఖర్చుతో విదేశాలలో ఎంబీబీఎస్ విద్య కేర్ ఆఫ్ విశాల్ ఓవర్సీస్ Thank you so much ma'am giving us the time I know you're so lot of things are happening in your life so yeah please please so as we know about this robotics is conquering the world in every sphere of life if we talk about medical we talk about other things you know in corporate area everywhere how in medical science is becoming a boom so clearly surgical procedures have been very critical across the entire treatment and curative realm when you open up a patient uh you know there is major other risks there is more recovery time so science innovated to create laparoscopic surgery so with that you put in a small through three pin holes you would put in uh, the troca to actually do the surgery you would put in an optical light you would have one more uh, so they created an operating environment without opening you know the body entirely then through that because you are using very small holes the access became slightly restricted now robotic surgery through minimal invasive surgery has been a major revolution where you can get the precision you want the robotic arm can reach where the human arm cannot it gives you greater precision less blood loss therefore faster recovery and better surgery and this is something while it is expensive uh the consumables are expensive uh it is still giving so much benefit to patients but like i said it's very very important the person behind the machine you can buy a fantastic robot but you cannot have a surgeon and the experience who really makes the difference in the entire treatment and i especially want to focus on this conference where they are focusing on women's problems yes. and many women suffer silently without getting their procedures taken care of i think dr ruma sinha would be the best one to tell you more and about the procedure and the benefit and if we talk about robotic surgeries people have some myths they get scared yeah. what are your things three things you can remove it i mean you can just tell the women out there yeah one there is no robot that performs the surgery okay. is the woman or the man behind the machine who does the surgery okay. so that one myth is totally out okay. second people feel robotic surgery takes more time it doesn't take more time in in units like apollo where we are completely geared we have a good team we have well oiled uh, operating room in fact today after doing 10 years of robotic surgery it takes me less time to do the same surgery robotically than it would take me laparoscopically or open and the third that is more expensive well if you look at a tele mobile phone yes the smartphone is more expensive than nokia but why don't you why do you use it look at the larger picture it's not just that bill or the cost that comes on the day of surgery look at the recovery of the woman she goes back to her society her home her office within 3 days she is going to perform in a better way or overall the recovery period of 6 weeks needing people to help her at home uh, taking so many medicines suffering all goes away in 3 days that makes a difference and i think women deserve this technology so i think a very Now, soon yes. let's conclude yes. by saying that this is robot assisted surgery yes. there's no robot robot assisted surgery yes. by a skilled surgeon with experience in a good operating room gives the patient faster recovery less blood loss and sooner goes back to normal so patient should come forward when they have the slightest symptom so that through medication or surgery they can get better and ma'am there is a new mem member added in your family like upasna ma'am just wanted how your life changed after becoming a masi you are a masi i think yes yes so upasna is a very precious child she brings joy around her and by god's grace uh she had a baby girl yes. uh so kara is our precious new addition to the family yeah. and just 3 yeah, days ago 3 uh. days ago Man, my son and daughter in law yes. had a baby wow and so we have so baby kara also has a a cousin close to her wow. so i think both of them are going to grow up and the important thing is that they will be brought up to contribute to society yes. in the same tradition that 
uh, their great grandfather has given them. And I just wonder, ma'am, you have seen as a sister of Pasna, as an entrepreneur, as a mother, how challenging it's becoming for her. You've been experienced, right? Are you giving some tips to her? So I often say that there is no challenge that is put forward to us that we don't have the capability to handle. And I'm very confident that Upasana can be a wonderful mother and continue to be an entrepreneur, a social activist, and a wonderful wife daughter-in-law, niece, daughter, role. she can handle it all. So as a Ramcharan sir is doing as a father role, are you on, are you on, the, on him? Uh, he is super, super proactive. Uh. Outstanding father, hats off to Ramcharan. So what three lines you will say for the women's health from Sangeeta Madam? So for women's health, I think the biggest thing I would say is, please be aware of your health. Early detection, don't, don't neglect yourselves. Of course, diet, exercise, sleep, and relaxation. These four you definitely need to stay in the right frame. And the last one I'll say as I'm getting older is to understand that what you did when you're 30 and 40, you can continue to do when you're 60, yes. but you need to support your system. So take the right vitamins, take the right support, and continue to aspire to stay fit. Don't say I am older, I can't do it. You can do everything. Yes. But do it with planning, with care, and with a little bit of scientific help behind you. Oh, one line for your Upasna, ma'am. <laughs> I love you, Upsi. And her daughter. She's will be your chota baby. I love you more, Kara. Okay, thank you, ma'am. <laughs>